Hi everyone, it's Jess again. Yay! Two videos in one day. Well, filming in one day, I may upload them in different days. But what I have is, I have a big order of tea from Celestial Seasonings, and I thought, what more fun than to unbox it with you guys, uh, in case you're curious as to what I will be drinking in my mug in the next couple of, well, let's face it, months, because this is a big box. <laughs> but they always get me, because so I've, I've unsubscribed from a lot of lists and like coupon offers and stuff but celestial seasonings I just never got around to it and they were like free box of tea and I was like look, looking at my tea shelf and at work and I was like mm, I've got space and then the weather's turning nice and I want to start making iced tea which usually I'll do like some black tea leaf or black tea bags and then some like fruit along with it so that it's not just 100% black um and yeah they they got me. They got me good. Um, and just looking at the, the top of this box, there's a theme, which is I want summertime flavors in my tea right now. So some of these were um, put together in, in a uh, like a bundle that you can order, um, and it was a zinger bundle. And then a lot of these I just kind of ordered on their own. So we got raspberry zinger, wild berry, red, which I don't, I know that this has been around for like my entire life, but I don't really know what it tastes like in my memory. I know I've had the wild berry and the raspberry before and I really like it. Ooh, I had this one last summer and it was really delicious. So this is a sangria zinger. And so I've got two boxes of each of these. So we'll get to kind of go through. Ooh, uh, traditional lemon. It's a classic. Really delicious. Very bright. Very summery. Great iced. Good for an addition. Got watermelon. Lime zinger. Cranberry apple. I don't think I've had this one, tangerine orange. I'm very excited about this. I like both tangerine and orange flavors. And then some of these are actually um, some limited edition packaging. I think the tea is usually um, available, but they've reissued it with kind of some um, old timey celestial seasonings. Um, boxes which which do remind me of like my childhood so this is the wild forest blackberry which I don't think I've had in years and I'm really excited about so it's hibiscus rose hips chicory hawthorn blackberry leaves blackberry flavor um, orange peel and cassia um, and look at this box like there's just like this little family on there and a horse and they're picking blackberries and it's a hundred percent like wholesome and folklore um, and you almost feel like there's a, a fairy tale in there somewhere like there's an evil troll lurking around the corner or um, a witch that's plotting something against these kids but for now they're enjoying their lives or maybe they've been freed already I don't know this, this is what my brain thinks of the uh, the other limited edition is the tummy mint and that's this box. So you've got a mom in her casual wear, a kid in a stripy pajamas, and then a grandma pouring in some tea. This was not my childhood. Um, both of our grandparents, sets of our grandparents, uh, lived pretty far away from us. So we got to see them on vacation and stuff, but there weren't quite so many uh, moments like this. Also, I never really had striped pajama sets. Like, did you have matching pajama sets? I bought a couple of them as an adult and being a tall person, like they never seem to fit right. So I always end up keeping like the, the bottoms or the tops and never keep them together. Anyways, this is peppermint, chamomile, cinnamon, fennel, licorice, and mint. I'm, again, I haven't had this one in a very long time. And I will say that the chamomile portion of it almost turned me off to it because I find chamomile to be a very strong flavor, even though a lot of people think that it's very mild. To me, it just tastes like dusty flowers. And so if it's a strong component, 
of teas, it really overwhelms some of the other flavors. So that's what I got. Next up, we've got two boxes of Peppermint Peak. So this is black tea with peppermint. I know my sister does not like this. I really do. Um, it's best of both worlds. It's cinnamon and peppermint and black tea, which sounds gross, but I really like it. Um, oh, something's backing up. Uh, also in the holiday teas, some, I think one of these was on sale. Uh, this one was on sale. I haven't had this one. The white chocolate peppermint. Um, I'm not a big fan of white chocolate and baked goods because it's just very sweet and doesn't have a lot of flavor. But with the peppermint, it seemed like it might be like a nice warm, cozy uh, cup of tea. And again, um, this is a white tea, so it does have a little bit of caffeine in it. Um, and then, oh, this one was so good. I think I finished this up a couple of weeks ago, maybe, maybe two months ago. Nutcracker Sweet. This was really delicious. It was black tea with creamy vanilla, pinch of cinnamon. Mmm. Really excited that this is back in my life because sometimes I need a second or third cup of black tea during the day. And then last but not least, so we've got iced tea fixins. Oh dear. Things are precariously stacked up on my desk. Careful. Careful. Okay. Last but not least, we have cold brew for iced tea. So we have black tea. Oh, tropical fruit. So these are black teas with fruit flavors. You just drop them in. I like to put them, if I'm going to be at home, I make sun tea. If I'm not going to be home, I just make them in the fridge, hence the cold brew. Um, tropical fruit. I think it's going to be really good. Haven't had this one yet. This one I know is good. It's the peach black tea cold brew. Um, again, really great if you like flavored teas. Um, but still want that kind of like refreshing black tea richness. Gotta love those tannins. Mm -mm. And then raspberry. Uh, so we're, I think we're, <laughs> I think we're stocked up for tea. This is embarrassing. Um, how, how much is on my desk right now? But, ooh, in total, make a little house. It's a lot of tea. Um, but I'll drink it and it'll uh, be a diversion. Um, I have been drinking some soda recently, so I've been really enjoying the Canada Dry Extra Extra Bold, or is it just Bold? Bold Ginger Ale. Um, and I was telling Chris that I got some like mini cans of the regular ginger ale and after drinking the Bold for a couple of weeks, uh, the regular is kind of boring and non-interesting. Um, but it might be time to take a break from that. And I have many, 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 many glasses within these boxes of tea, um, as opposed to buying cans of stuff that I then have to like recycle and carry from the store. So that's my tea haul. Hope you enjoy it. What you're drinking? Comment down below. Oh, hey, uh, it is um, still time. There's still time to register for my one year anniversary contest. If you haven't already, um, just uh, leave a comment in that video. So that's my one year anniversary video what your favorite scent is. Um, subscribe to Still Isolation on Instagram and my soap company, which is Second Shift Soap on Instagram. Um, and then you could win something for free if you live in the US. So just a friendly reminder, do it, do it, do it. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later.